My job working in fashion and being familiar with all the clothing lines or designers that I'm familiar with or even like hair, or makeup and things like that doesn't feel like a job. So I want to continue to host. I want to be in um, the beauty fashion industry. I want to do entertainment fashion style. I want to show maybe on E in the US. I'm at E in Canada now. I've never seen the movie Zoolander. I've never seen it. Everybody tells me all the time, you've got to see this. One of my girlfriends tells me when I'm putting on makeup and she's next to me, or if I'm in the rearview mirror putting on lip gloss, she's like, you're doing your mirror face. I'm like, what's the mirror face? <laughs> like, whatever it is, I've heard about it, but I don't name them. <laughs> I think it's really cool to be in Vogue Italia or to do an editorial for a huge fashion house or a huge campaign. That's really cool. But at the same time, like, you still go home and you're still a normal person. And I think people judge you by the way you look a lot of times. So they think, oh, she's not as nice. Or I can't talk to her. Or they're really surprised when you're friendly. Mm -hmm. Or there's another case when the way you look puts you in a category of women that your mind just doesn't match. And so you're um, portrayed as being some ditz or somebody that doesn't, you know, that can't carry a conversation and really it's the opposite because of the way you look. I think I, I fall into like these categories where you can constantly surprise people because when you have something to say and you're not just a pretty face, that's what I like. I'm going to throw people off. <laughs>